problems like this, it's always helpful to draw in a bunch of horizontal and vertical lines so that you can easily determine the measures of the angles that you're interested in. So for example, here down at the origin, I've created the home, I've designated this as the home port. And this fisherman leaves the home port heading north 70 degrees west. So north 70 degrees west takes us in this direction right here. And he goes that way for 35 miles. Then the next day, and that takes him to Egg Island. The next day he heads north, but 10 degrees east. So this angle is 10 degrees. And since this is a right angle, I've got a horizontal line and a vertical dashed line forming a 90 degree angle. Uh, that means that this angle right here has to be 80. And if we look at this triangle formed by this blue dashed line, the y-axis, and the route of the fisherman the first day, that's a right triangle. This was 70 degrees, so this has to be 20 right here. So that means, in effect, you've got a triangle that looks something like this. This is 110 degrees, or 100 degrees, sorry. 80 plus 20. This is 35. This is 55 miles, and this is the distance you want to find. So that's going to be the law of cosines. And I'll take you to a Desmos graph that shows you the law of cosines to solve this triangle. And the other thing for part B, the bearing of uh, the home port from Forest Island. Here's the definition of bearing right here. A bearing is an angle measured clockwise from the north direction. So we're at Forest Island. We want the bearing of A from B, so the north direction clockwise until we get to the line heading towards A would be that angle right there. So for part B, we got to find the size of that angle. Well, we know that this green dashed line right here with this blue dashed line right here are parallel. This 55 miles is a transversal. So this must be 80 degrees right here because alternate interior angles are equal when parallel lines are cut by a transversal. And so if we can solve for this angle right here, the side opposite the 35 mile side, the angle opposite the 35 mile side, then we could find this angle and add that on to 90 and that would give us our bearing. Okay, so let's go to, uh, let me share my screen. Go to the law of cosines graph. And there's the law of cosines. This is the missing side right here. Side A is 55. That's this side right here. Side B is 35. The angle included between them is 100 degrees. And if I apply the law of cosines, I see that the distance from the home port to whatever the name of that island was is 70.1323. Uh, so I can label this as 70 point, it's set to two decimal places. So 70.13 miles. Okay, that's your answer to part A. 70.13 miles. Now to get the bearing, we need to find this angle, which is the angle B in my law of cosines. Well, how do I find angle B? Well, I actually use the law of sines. So uh, it must be true that Angle, the sine of B is the 35 as the uh, sine of 70 is the 55. And that's kind of what I did over here. Uh, but angle B is 29.44 degrees. 
29.44. So add the 80, the 29.44, subtract that from 180, and you'll have the size of this angle right here. I'll just call it alpha. And 90 degrees plus whatever alpha is, is your bearing of the home port from Forest Island. Okay, I'll let you finish that up.